What is up guys, welcome to your next episode of Game Maker. In this episode we're going to do something on swi on swiping. You've probably seen swiping in such games as uh, Fruit Ninja where it used to, uh, you know, slice the objects. Or uh, Angry Birds where it used it as a catapult and everything. This is mainly for iPhone, iPad and iPod uh, things for uh, Game Maker Studio. But it can also be used in Game Maker 8.1. But, um... Yeah, so to get started, create a sprite and just call it Sprite Ball. Sprite Ball is going to be the thing that we're going to be throwing around our little room that we're going to create. So all we're going to do is just a black and white ball. There we go. Remember to center the sprite as usual, because it's going to be a physical object. Um, next one we're going to create is a sprite wall. We're going to use a sprite that we normally always use for walls right here, wall block. And to center that sprite as well. But um, to get the, phys the physical attributes for our sprite ball, we first need to create variables. So create an object and just call it object ball. Remember to assign the sprite to sprite ball and create a solid. Add a create event. There's quite a lot of variables for this, but um, I'll try and go with them as, e uh, as easy as I can. So, to start, just create uh, a variable called swipe equals false. So, when swipe equals true, we're going to make it, you know, uh, add speed and everything. But now, what we want is uh, swipe strength and make that equal 3. Although, this is the strength of the swipe, so how fast you do it, how slow it is, and everything. But yeah, we'll get onto that a little bit later in this tutorial. Uh, next is uh, swipe start x. That's where the swipe is going to start on the x coordinate. And obviously, if we're going to have that, we're going to need swipe start y, the y coordinate. Obviously, if we're going to have start, we need the uh, finish. So just type in swipe finish x and swipe finish y. Make them both equal zero. And um, some more variables is swipe diff x, that's the swipe difference between the start and the finish, that's to do with the speed that we'll get a little bit later. Now do the opposite of it, swipe diff y equals zero, and now put um, swipe speed x and swipe speed y, that pretty self-explanatory. Um, what you need now, after you put these zeros in, is uh, the gravity and friction. The gravity is just the gravity basically, just equal that to 1. And now we're going to add the friction, so how fast it slows down. I'm just going to put, put that as a 0.25. You can put that as whatever you want, but the line is 0.25. So add a step event now. So if mouse check button pressed. MB left, so this is if we press the left mouse button and swipe equals false. So if we're pressing the left mouse button and we're not swiping currently, we uh, set some variables such as swipe start x equals mouse x and swipe start y equals mouse y. Now we're swiping now, so then put the thing as swipe equals true. But to uh, calculate the speed, first we need to put if swipe equals true, swipe timer plus equals swipe strength. Might have gone over that variable, I'll just check. Yes, I did. So just put another variable in and just call it swipe timer equals one so now that we've got that going we now put if mouse check button released so if we release the uh, left mouse button and swipe equals true so if we're swiping and we've released the uh, left mouse button we put swipe start no swipe finish x equals
cause mouse X and oops and swipe finish Y equals mouse Y. So now for the speed we need to calculate the difference between it. So swipe diff X equals swipe start X minus swipe finish X. That's the difference for the X, but now we need the Y as well. So just put uh, swipe diff y equals swipe start y minus swipe finish y. So now that we've done that, we need to add the speed and everything. So we're going to put swipe speed x equals and then put in brackets swipe diff x minus swipe timer this is gonna calculate the uh, the height speed for it now we need to calculate the y speed or the uh, v speed spelt speed wrong then, sped there we go so swipe speed y equals and then put in your brackets again swipe diff y so then you cut up minus swipe timer also so now we, we need to assign the speed so height speed equals now this is where I'm going to have to explain a few things you put minus swipe speed x because um this these speeds are sort of inverted so if you swipe to the top left it'll go bottom left i could probably add a uh, an invert variable but um yeah to keep it simple just put minus swipe speed x and it'll go the way you're swiping but if you want something like that such as like a catapult so if you pull back it'll go that way you can do that but for the sake of this tutorial it's going to be like that so for the v speed you just put equals minus swipe speed y so let's just create a room and I'll show you what we've got so far. Hope this should work. Hopefully. I think I've already set gravity yet. Um, let's just set gravity to zero a second just so I can show you what I've got so far. Otherwise there'll be nothing to collide with it. Oh, that's steam. Ah. I misspelled swipe equals true. Let's just close that. And um, there we go. And swipe equals true. I've got a little bit of cold, so sorry if you hear me sniff sniffling. So obviously that goes all the way over there, but it is very, very strong. So what we need to do there is at the bottom of here is set swipe timer to equal zero again to equal one sorry and um yeah let's see if that sorts out the speed problem i'm just going over the code so i can just see if i've done anything wrong because that was immensely fast um yes so instead of a uh, swipe diff x minus swipe timer it's supposed to be divide so sorry about that Put divide, and that should sort out the speed problem. There we go. So now, for stuff to collide with it, we'll just set gravity back to one because we're going to need that for when we collide with objects. So this spider that we created called Spike Wall, we're going to use that now. So create an object and just call it object wall. There's going to be no code in this. It's going to be all done in the object ball object in the uh, object ball. So we're going to assign the sprite and set it to solid. In the object ball, we need to add event, add a collision event with object ball, and in the code, just put move bounce solid and just put one. Uh, this makes it so it bounces off all solid objects that it encounters. So because we 
added sort of to this and sort of to a bit more it's going to work the advanced is sort of um it's pretty hard to explain but um instead of just going up down left and right for the angles it bounces off it's going to go in all directions so it'll look more realistic yes now oh, that's done though um let's just create a little room and uh see if it works it's just a little box to test whether it works or not hopefully it should work by as you know i forget a lot of things so we might have to correct some stuff is it bouncing oh yep there we go <laughs> So obviously it didn't bounce off it because I didn't do the collision thing right. But yours should have hopefully worked well if you didn't copy all of my moves. But um, yep, there we go. There we go. Now it bounces if you go that way. So if it's lagging a bit, my computer's been on a while, so it doesn't really work too well. It's not really swiping much, but I think that's just because of the lag. I'll try and reload it again. Otherwise, it might be about, uh, about my code. Yes, it is. I remember now. So, at the uh, bottom of the mouse check button released of uh, the mouse button and swipe it goes through, we need to uh, set swipe to false so we can actually swipe again. So, now that we've done that, it probably should work. And that would be the end of this tutorial. There we go. Yep, it's bouncing all over the place. So, um, yeah, so that's been me in this tutorial. We've been doing swiping, we've done quite a lot of stuff. Um, if you want to drop a like, I, I'd appreciate it. If you want to subscribe, that's even better. And to comment on if you want an, uh, another tutorial, otherwise, I'll be one every single Wednesday. But yeah, um, it's been me, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, so goodbye.